Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my BoxyCharm. Now before I get into the new one, let's go over what I got last month. I actually got the Boxy Lux last month. It comes out every three months for like $50. So whew, let's get into it. Uh, I did not keep them. We had been sent out. I didn't like the color, so I swapped that away. Another product I wound up not keeping was the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. Now, I did not keep it because it broke me out. <laughs> and that made me so sad because it's an expensive ass cream, but you know, what can you do? I passed it along to my mother-in-law. I hope she loves it. But I did wind up enjoying everything else that was in the bag, so it's not a big deal. First is the other palette that actually came with the regular box charm as well. It is the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I got mine in the light medium shade. And not only did I use this plenty, I used this on a bride. <laughs> a friend of mine got married recently and I did her makeup. But um, yeah, it's a really nice palette. I mean, there's no like, crazy colors to it. I have actually been using the brightener shade as a highlighter itself and that's been working well for me. Cause I know it's supposed to be like, you use it as, you know, set under your eyes. It's really good. It's really shimmery for that for me. So like really shimmery for me to be wanting to put under my eyes to set it, but it's been working very nicely as a highlight. So it's makeup. You can use it however you want. I have not figured out how to use the finishing powder yet because it's actually pretty dark on me. If it was a hair darker, I could get away with using it as a bronzer. <laughs> I'm sorry if my makeup looks a little crazy right now. I kind of did it in a hurry tonight. I've been packing and moving, so I have been wearing makeup in the day. But I needed to film some stuff tonight if I was going to have anything put up this week. I know last week I had my shit all set up because I was going out of town. So I pre-filmed and had it all edited and uploaded before I left. And then I didn't do that for this week. I should have like double filmed, honestly. But I do what I do while I can. Anyways, uh... Next, Becca lipstick. I've loved this lipstick. This lipstick is awesome. I got the shade Burgundy. It feels amazing on the lips and it smells really good. The packaging is very nice and magnetic closure. Gotta love it. And it's something that specifically came in the Boxy Lux. So I felt okay spending the extra $28. Another thing we got that and the boxy lux that made me feel okay spending the extra money was this iconic brow cushion i wound up really enjoying this i used this multiple times now it comes with its own little uh thing brush is there any product on this right now no it's actually i've actually cleaned it off recently but uh this does work fine so if you use this traveling you don't need an extra brush now i have been sticking more to the lighter side of it because it is a strong ass eyebrow. I like a strong eyebrow, don't get me wrong, but it's potent. But if you're careful with it as I have to be, it can look really, really good. So I've been enjoying the crap out of this. I'm very happy with it. Is this something I would necessarily purchase for $39? Probably not, but it's really been really nice. And I want to make a point to use it this year because as somebody who has owned and used cushion products before, they dry out relatively quickly. So once I finish my next brow pencil, which should be very soon, I will probably move on to panning that just to make sure that it doesn't go to waste. Next is something I haven't used, unfortunately. These are the Lily Lashes. Um, they are nice lashes. And I totally could have worn them last week when I went to that wedding, or I could have put them on the bride, although I could barely put lashes on myself, much less put them on somebody else. But uh, I just, I forgot about them at home, honestly. So I'll wear them at some point, but they're lashes, they're fine. I would never spend $24.99, I think it is, on lashes at all. I can buy good ones from the drugstore if I need lashes for something, like just a costume look or something, but yeah. Uh, next is this Moda brush kit that I have been really enjoying. This came in the regular box as well, which I ain't mad at that, but uh, I've really been enjoying the powder brush. I've been using it a lot. I haven't been using this highlighting brush as much. What do they call it? They called it something kind of stupid, but it's a highlighting brush. Uh, it's a little flimsy. I like 
it's not that I want like a super dense highlighting brush, but I don't necessarily want it to do that, but I can use it, so it's fine. This probably wouldn't make it through a declutter though. Well, this one I love though, and they are really pretty brushes. So they got that going for them. I have my nail polishes that I'm glad I got these instead of the cuticle oil. But uh, these I got a little Deborah Lippman set for worth like I think 20. Uh, this one is Modern Love and this one is O'Donna. They're pretty. Uh, I wouldn't pay full price for these from Deborah Lippman because like this one, I'm pretty sure I could hunt down a fairly close dupe in the drugstore. This one, I'm not as sure I could hunt down a dupe for, but you know, I'll use them, I'll enjoy them, it's fine. Uh, next to last, uh, I have the Wander Beauty Peel Off Mask. What is it? Purifying and Brightening. So this has been really nice and I've been really enjoying it. I don't know if I would pay full price for it. Wander Beauty's kind of expensive, but I've liked basically everything I've tried from them and some things I've absolutely loved from them. So I don't know. If you're gonna splurge on a brand, that might be one of them. And finally, they sent us a train case that I've been using the absolute crap out of. It currently holds my dirty brushes. Last time I had already put it into use and it was holding my clean brushes. So yeah, I've been loving this thing. So. When I move, I'll just throw all my dirty brushes in here and they'll be good to go. Now out with the old and in with the new. This month's theme is like something festival related, which, you know, uh, I'm never gonna go to Coachella. I'm a little, honestly old to go to Coachella, but we do have the New Orleans Jazz Fest near here. I'm not going this year. I might go next year. I'm thinking of convincing the, actually the friends whose wedding I went to him and his wife, getting my, getting a couple of my other friends that have moved off to come down here, and we all go to it together because it's like a six-day thing, you know, like festivals are, because it's not just music, although it is primarily music. They do a lot of history and culture exhibits around it too, which is where I think my husband would actually really enjoy it because he's not a big crowd person, he's not a big concert person, so I don't go to that kind of stuff normally, but I think we would all be covered in that and we can make like a weekend of it or something plus new orleans on its own is pretty freaking fun to go to as long as you go to the right spots <sighs> so i'm babbling on about music festivals peace love and boxy is the theme but it's very festival related and you'll see why in a minute uh well here's one reason why because they sent it a pure festival palette it's really cute packaging i know not everybody was happy with this not everybody likes the pure eyeshadow formula I don't mind it, and I am somebody that's going to use really colorful shades. Now there are a couple of like pressed glitters in here, which can be kind of a pain in the butt to use. They did actually send us like a seal over it, which was pretty smart to them. Oh, that smells really good. That smells like the Too Faced formula. Yeah, these are totally pressed glitters, which, you know, I have a glitter glue. I will happily use pressed glitters in my everyday life. So that's going to be interesting. They're not, they, glitters don't swatch well. Like it's something that you like press on top of your eyeshadow and stuff like that. So this swatch is definitely not going to show a, full, a glitter's full majesty, but let's, let's get this wild child shade and this purple, I guess I'll call it the Romani shade because the, the shade they call it is actually a slur. Purple's really, that pink is really pretty. And that purple is actually not bad either. Have to be built up. Like, we're gonna call that shade Romani. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really pretty. I kind of wish it had like a cream shade in here, but uh, at the same time, I can substitute my own. It's not that big of a deal. I wish I brought a makeup wipe over here because now I have pressed glitters all over my fingers. That was smart. And next we have the Luxie, this is like called something, what is it? The Summer Days Three Piece Brush Set. I'm all about having Luxie brushes. I'm getting to the point where I could throw out, well not throw out, but like give away most of my other brushes because I have enough Luxie brushes to get me through just fine. But I like having multiple brushes of everything because I hate washing brushes. I kind of wish I would pulled this out earlier, but I literally, when I got this, because this actually arrived while I was out of town last week, 
I looked at it and opened it for like two seconds, and then I haven't really looked at it since because I have been packing. But uh, here they are. I think this is supposed to be a contour brush because it's got that kind of like little pinched thing going on there. And we have two eye brushes right here. And th the, this is gorgeous. It's supposed to look like, you know, a sunset or something like that. Oh, I forgot to mention because I actually took this, the Pure Palette, one of the things I did was I took it out of its box. It actually came with a sample of their en Endurance Eyeshadow Primer, which is always fun to try. Now here we have a Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. Now I got one of these from them at least a year ago or something like that. And I'm like, I don't use loose powder. I'm not gonna keep it. And I've regretted that ever since. So I'm definitely keeping this one. It is also in the shade Purple Haze, which I've already swatched this. This is one of the things I did fool with. <laughs> and in light, this looks orange, but I know it's purple. <laughs> like I know it is. I do appreciate that it has like the little, you know, shut mechanism. Like that looks gold, doesn't it? Am I crazy? Yeah, it's like duochrome. You have to move it around. Get all those angles going on. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember it being orange because I know I freaking looked at it. That's cool though. <laughs> and you know, even if I don't want to wear this, don't, don't want to bother putting it on my cheeks, although I will wear a purple highlighter any day of the week. Uh, you can also always use these as like a loose eyeshadow and I will use a loose eyeshadow. Let's see, what do we have here? We have the Bodyography Eye Pencil. Yep. It's super smooth coconut oil infused eye pencil. And mine is in the shade Bali Bronze. It's a wooden pencil. Hopefully it's... Yeah, for saying it's smooth, it still feels pretty hard, but you know, we'll try it. We'll see. Why am I swatching in more places? And finally, they sent me a mascara. Let's see. There was a couple of variations going around. I was hoping not to get the one with the mascara, honestly, because I have a lot of mascaras open right now. It's fine though. But anyway, so this is the Butter London Power Up Mascara. Experience length, definition, and curl retention for all day wear. I do like a curved brush. I'm not as good with like the pointy plasticky ones because I tend to poke myself in the eye with them because I'm never as careful with the stuff as I should be. Especially having some sensitive ass eyes like I do, but that actually spells kind of nice. What is it infused with? Oil-free blend. No, it doesn't seem to. Oh, it hydrating jojoba extract. Probably smelling the jojoba oil. So, okay, you know, I ain't mad at having a higher end mascara. I'm never mad at having one because I sure won't buy them for myself usually. And I appreciate that it actually kind of locks into place. That is something that you really only get from higher end mascaras, I will say. But uh, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, even when I am a chaotic mess like this due to moving. And uh, hopefully I will see you later. Bye.